at a bar, so I should play my song here. This is one I wrote about drinking beer. miscommunication. Me and my buddy Jack, Jack played the guitar, he used to stand right there and play the guitar, and he still does when I go through Reno, play a few gigs together. But me and my buddy Jack, uh, due to some uh, corporate miscommunication, they used to pay me and my buddy Jack, just the two of us, about the same rate you might expect for a four-piece band. So we try to score that gig as often as possible. We go up there and play a Friday night, play a Saturday night. And Jack had a camper van also, so we would just kind of crash out in their car park in between, about half a mile from the shore of Lake Tahoe there, go for a walk on the Saturday, make some breakfast, you know, just hanging out, having a nice weekend. They had a bartender named Rick. And Rick, oh, he was a consummate Lake Tahoe, California party sort of guy. He'd make sure that every time Jack and I walked up to the bar, he'd give us one of those gigantic beers and one of those, like, you know, one liter beer steins, like you might see at Oktoberfest. And a little bump of whiskey on the side. So by the time we got done with that gig, we were pretty greased and gassed. And that system was going pretty well. We were raking in the dough. And so we booked a gig one time up there this time of year, ski season. Oh. There's three feet of snow in the car park. It's cold out there. But we played the gig and we got pretty greased and gassed and we were stumbling out to our individual camper vans out there in the snow. Jack wasn't even done with his beer. He was still carrying the beer out with him. And, it, and we both uh, got into our individual camper vans and just said, you know, it's okay once you get zipped in the sleeping bag, get cozy there, frost on the windows sleeping away. I guess that was going pretty good until the wee hours of the morning, which they call the wee hours of the morning because that's when you wake up because you have to go wee hours of the morning. And Jack woke up, I guess, he told me this story later. He woke up in the middle of the night and he was just looking outside at the snow on the ground and the frost on the windows and he just saying to himself, the last thing in the world I want to do is get out of this sleeping bag and get out of this van and have to go out and wee somewhere. And so I just... But he looked up and he saw that one liter beer stein empty in the front of his van. And he had himself a drunken idea. He said it couldn't be any bigger coming out than it was going in. So he used the glass. And he dumped it out in the snow the next morning and he told me all about it because he was so proud of his idea. And so that was all well and good until uh, about two weeks later when we were going up there, we were going to play that gig again up at the Hyatt Lake Tahoe Regency Resort and Golf Spa. And I want to make fun of Jack, so I kind of elbowed him and said, hey Jack, are you going to use your glass again tonight? He said, what are you talking about? I returned it to the bar. <laughs> so if you ever go on holiday in Lake Tahoe, go skiing, 
golfing, motor motoring, sailing, or something like that. You get done with a nice day of recreation, you sit down at the bar, and Rick is there with a smile on his face, and he slides that one liter beer straight across the bar, all frosty and nice looking. Just think to yourself, it could be Jack's class. <laughs> And here's one whiskey, one shot, one bourbon, one beer. One more beer. The toilet's in the rear. One more beer. Watch, bring it over here. One more beer. Oh, 